Good morning, I'm Pastor Roddy Chester with Open Door Family Fellowship. and This is Necessary Food for this Thursday morning. Well, it's peaceful this morning. I like those kind of mornings, kind of cool. I mean, we're getting up there into the 100s and we've got just the, the ever so slightest breeze this morning and it's just peaceful. Feels good to breathe the fresh air and, and just to just to enjoy this, this early morning. And I'm reading in my Bible this morning, John chapter 14, verse 27, and the Lord Jesus Christ tells his disciples, he says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You know, as I think about peace this morning, just to, just to have peace, and, and he, I think he gives us a good contrast here. The opposite of having peace is to have a troubled heart or to have a fearful heart. You ever get like that? You ever get to where your, your, your soul is just, just troubled, your heart just, it's just troubled as you, you, you deal with whatever it is that, that you're having to deal with at the time? You ever have those times that you're, you're afraid? Afraid because of, of illness or maybe financial difficulty or uh, uh, afraid because of, of change that's taking place around you? Uh, uh, afraid for your life maybe? You know, there's so many situations in life that can make us troubled and can make us afraid. And Jesus tells us, instead of having our hearts troubled and afraid, we can have peace. And we can have a peace that comes from Him. And He does something really interesting. He tells us, not as the world gives. And so I want you to think with me for just a minute this morning. I'm sure we could come up with all kinds of different uh, things than just this, but I thought of three things this morning. Uh, that's a difference between the way the world gives peace and the way that Jesus gives us peace. Number one, the world's peace is always based on circumstances. And so if you have two countries that are at peace, it's because they have, have uh, uh, come to a place of circumstances where they are going to get along with each other. But the, the peace that Jesus gives us is based on truth. It, it's based on his word. It's based on his life. It's based on the fact that, that, that Jesus is the truth. And so you, his peace is better than the world's peace and you can trust him. Number two, the world's peace is always accomplished by compromise. I, I mean, think it. We, we, we have bigger guns than you. Therefore, we're at peace. So stand down, we'll be at peace. Or maybe we've come to some kind of a, a trade agreement compromise. Uh, maybe we've, we're, we're sharing with each other in some way. But it, it always comes from uh, some kind of compromise. The peace that Jesus gives us is not something that's accomplished by both parties. The peace that Jesus gives us is a gift. He, he gives it to us. He says, my peace I give unto you. It's a gift that we receive. And so it's based on truth. It's given to us directly by Jesus. And then thirdly, the world's peace is always temporary. At any moment in time, it could end. It's one of the reasons why we have troubled hearts and we're fearful. Because even when we have a place of peace, we know that it's possible that it could come to an end, but not the peace that Jesus gives. The peace that Jesus gives is eternal. So it's based in truth. It's a gift from God. And it's eternal. I, I want to just encourage you today. <clears throat> you can have the peace of God. We, we all can. If we'll come to Jesus. If we'll come to Him in faith. If we'll trust Him. And if we will receive what He is offering to us by faith. If you've never come, in, come to Jesus... It, the, the Bible tells us that we've, we've got to understand that we need Jesus. We, we need Him because we're sinners. If you'll come to Him and you'll confess to Him, Lord, I've, I'm a sinner. I have sinned. I have done that which is wrong in your eyes. And ask Him for forgiveness. Please forgive me. And then, then tell Him that you trust Him. Lord, I, I trust you. You are the Lord. You are the Savior. You died on the cross to forgive me of my sins, to cleanse me. And you're raised from the dead ascended into heaven never to die again i trust you please save me he will and not only that but he'll give you a peace that passes all understanding and you can walk in that peace today
God bless you. I hope you have a great day.